Hello there, YouTube. Put your sunshades on. Holy moly. That sun's trying to cut right through that fog. But welcome to a 30 degree Tuesday, February the 13th. I think it's made it up to about 34 now. It's starting to kick up on us. But look at this. What is that? What is all that blue out there? Holy moly. Yep, it's supposed to be about 52 degrees today and sunny, just sunny. Then tomorrow, <laughs> we won't talk about tomorrow. It is the Northwest though. But anyway, welcome to the day. Heck yeah. Man. That is beautiful. Look at the, look at the morning dove sitting in the tree. Oh, yeah, one to the right of it. Maybe that was a little more. Oh, yeah. No, for some reason, for a moment there, I was thinking they don't go in the trees, but they they hoop from way up there, do their mournful cries. Like yeah. <laughs> Man, sunshine. What is that all about? Oh, heck yeah. 10 degrees cooler, 41 today instead of 51 and fogged in here in Van Chulo. We did have sunny spots. Yeah, we had nice sunny spots. Mm -hmm. And then there was yeah. little bouts of, you're in the fog, out of the fog. And we're, yeah, we're back, out. we're in back in. <laughs> <laughs> Mama? Yes, I It's Tuesday. It is. Let's go in here and bust it down. All right. I got a spider in the line. I got to go from having nothing to do to like, oh, I'm almost getting behind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so let's go. Get her done. All right. All right. Well, you see you bye. I love you, baby. All right. Mm -hmm. Bye bye now. Look what Tim just took out of the crate. Look at this. This is S1000R competition. The M class. Look at that. Carbon wheels, acro exhaust, carbon bits and bobs everywhere on this thing. The uh, ground effect wings on this thing are way stronger than the RR. The RR, you shake those and it's like it's trying to rip the whole side panel off. But I'm sure that's for a reason. Look at all that carbon fiber. Ooh. Brand new, right out of the crate. That's pretty right there. Holy moly. Boy, that R model is some kind of sexy. And dang, another one of these weird seats. I don't know things might be comfortable, but that thing's weird me out. <laughs> It'd be seven feet tall to ride these things. I don't think I got, nope, I didn't. I didn't feel the thump of the side stand. Yeah, good lord. I mean, crazy tall. So that spider, I went to go do the alignment on it. Yeah, she's a, she's a no-go. I sent a bunch of pictures to BRP and, and a little video. And, um, <laughs> everything's pointing towards a, a bent steering stem on that thing. I just want to take a quick ride. I'm not going to do anything far here. Just want to make sure it doesn't just doesn't do anything weird, you know. I mean, everything's visually straight, and it must have just rolled up on that tire. But it didn't damage the tire. It didn't damage the rim. Everything's all happy-go-lucky. That'll make them happy. But he does have some. Uh, I thought I took that shield all the way down. Wow. Getting senile in my old age, but I'll keep it up so it doesn't get some wind in our face. I don't want to drive it anywhere overly visible because I have a uh, the front fender that's all crunched. I have it removed, well, the colored part of it. So in the center, it really has no fender. And um, I don't think we're supposed to operate these things when they're not 100%. So it takes a... <laughs> that made that... It's fun you're riding a police bike. 
how people are paying attention to the road then when they see you. Suckers. If you drive right to start with, you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. In my younger days of racing around on motorcycles, I was all the time, where's the police? They're out here somewhere. Don't get me. But, uh, yeah, so I, I don't know what that thing. The other thing is, too, is there's a strong detent in the steering. This is even with it running front wheels off the ground so that uh, um, the power, the DPS, the power steering module has no resistance. But this is what's weird. So the bars, remember the ones that got bent in the truck and then the, I don't know if I showed you my old demo that the steering stem was bent in that crash but they were like six degrees off and then the other one was six degrees the other way but well, this one's six degrees to the left so essentially when the wheels are pointing straight the steering sideways well right when you get to that point that the wheels are facing straight there's a strong like a heavy resistance in it it's crazy I'm just gonna loop through here and come back. Just stay in some back roads here. Yeah, it's just as nimble as always. He is leak as uh, left fork seal is leaking. So you always do them as a set. So I have the fork seal and these crazy soft front brakes. It's almost like a bad, you know, brake flush you let air got in somehow actually I was just gonna turn right there oh we we'll just go down here and take a loop oh see that van gets me got to pay attention to what's coming so that you know that it's behind there seems like you could complain about something like that but what are you going to do? By the time you nose out far enough to see past the van, or the van, the van you've, uh, you're out in the street for the, the lane coming at you from the left. The brakes are strong, just, they just have a mushy feeling to them. Ooh, this is a red trailer. Look at that old tractor. That is heck of cool. Let's go up here and do a loop around and just go right back the way we came. How about that? It's weird that used to be a, a through road there. I think it was there when I was coming here in the early, early 2000s. Oh. <laughs> I'm okay. I forgot I was just going to loop back. I just don't want to go banging around on some main roads. There used to be a, a, thing, a rule that some of the guys, this is a, in Longview, some of the guys would uh, wear shorts. And um, we were told we we're not allowed to uh, um, ride the police bikes with shorts on. You have to be in proper attire. And um, I know we're not supposed to ride around when they're, uh, the bike is like the fender's missing off the front there. That would be an obvious thing. Man, this thing is tall with that seat. Holy moly. What we're doing here, boy. <laughs> He's probably wondering why is the police coming through here. They're not. Just one of their bikes. That's so nice out here. It's still pretty cold, though. I think I'm supposed to make it to 52 down here. It feels colder than that. I could be wrong. But yeah, see this guy, man, I was gonna do the alignment and 
and uh, take that for its first run. James didn't ride it because you know he's busy going on to the next thing. He knows I'll ride it after a test ride, so it'll get its proper ride, you know, and, and testing. And he comes down. He goes, "Yeah, the steering's off." And so I got the steering straight. Noticed that there was this weird detent. I thought, well, okay, well, maybe the tire pressure's not right, and the fresh tires are sticking to that slick floor down there. And, and to give it too much thought initially, but. And I realize it's far enough off that front, the left front wheel is towed in about 7% and the right wheel is towed out roughly about 4%. I'm just doing a, a non-scientific use the compass on your phone <laughs> to figure out the degrees. But um, yeah, it's, there's not enough tie rod to pull that wheel out. So I go down, you know, where the steering, the bottom of the steering stem, there's a, a an area you can lock the stem down. There's a, you can put a bolt on each side, and there's a notch on the steering stem. And um, actually, I think that's yeah, that's part of the top of the DPS. But anyway, the thing is, it's 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 definitely off. The steering stem is bent. I mean, there's no question. But there's no. The only thing I can think of is is the steering stem one of the pieces because there's two parts to it was improperly jigged when it was welded or or something happened to it but there's nothing no outward signs whatsoever that anything has happened to it the only thing wrong with it at all is a, a little bit of road grime that kicked up onto the semi truck trailer as it was coming from Valcor to, to us and um, that's it but I'll let you let you guys know what well what, I missed the curb there and scared myself I'll let you know what BRP says when uh when I hear back from them kind of unfortunate I think there's several people looking forward to that see this guy is gonna have to wait for a little bit but thanks for coming along for a test ride on this sort of police bike and uh, I was thinking about it in the back of my head the whole time I'm riding. It's not doing anything weird. And you can see, you know, looking at the stanchions, everything's everything's straight. So she's good. Anyway, I'm not going to show you the key, key code here, so I'm going to bail out. <laughs> trouble right there James. Oh I saw that and I was like Woo! Look at that headlight how cool that is. That's what I like myself a naked bike. 521 at night. So I, uh, I did some research when I got home uh, concerning the um, Apple CarPlay with the new Spiders. So um, I found that I just seen a, a blip of it and I just looked into it a little further. So the latest Buds 2 update has some uh, some fixes for uh, the, the new display. Um, there were some uh, Canadian issues, uh, something about not being able to switch to kilometers or something like that. And um, But still, at this moment, which it sounds like they're going to have it fixed, well, you know they're going to do it quick. But the bikes are starting to come out. As you see, we have ours. And, um, but they still don't have the uh, um, 
certificate to turn uh, Apple CarPlay on yet. And I'm assuming it's a, a certificate from Apple or regulatory thing. I have no idea. But they still don't have the certificate for it. So, And the nice thing about this, you know, if you're at your dealer, the dealer will have the latest version of Buds every time you hook up. The buds, you have the ability to put whatever the update is, which is like every time you hook up. But you don't have to do it every time. I, I think you have like 14 days before you have to do the next update. So if you're, you know, uh, hooking up to somebody, you don't have to sit there and wait for it to, to do its updates to do something for the customer. But number two, um, this thing is smart enough that... Uh, if you hooked up to Wi-Fi, you can do your own updates. That's way cool. I remember them talking about that at school. So now, I don't know if you can hotspot your phone and trick it into thinking uh, it's on Wi-Fi. I know they're talking about it's like your home, like your car will update with Wi-Fi and stuff like that. So I'm not sure how all that will work. Although, um, that'll be a learning process for, for me as well. But uh, anyway, I'll go wrap that up in the day and get with the mama and and uh, we'll say you say you goodbye here. I just killing some time. Come out here to had something to do out here in the shop. Figured, well, I'll just talk to the peeps out there instead of standing in the thirty three degree weather. By the time we go do a goodbye, it's probably going to be thirty two. Might be that already. But uh, anyway, here we go. Hello there. You two. I don't know if we'll come across the camera. There's a big old owl out there hooting. Mm -hmm. uh, he, was, he was closest in one of those back trees over there. He was loud here a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. I think it was one of those freezing one of those times. It was like crazy cold out. As he's way out there. Mm -hmm. He's loud when he's close. But uh, anyway, cool stuff about the spider. Kind of a bummer that the steering's messed up on that thing. Um, you know, I don't think I even looked to see if I got a reply yet from them on what to do. Um, I was talking to the service manager, and he's going, uh, he goes, you're going to have to do it. And he goes, you sure that's what it is? And I go, I'm positive. He goes, just order the parts. So I'll make the parts list up in the morning. I was doing, seems like I'm doing 15 things at once that... Um, S1000R has got a code that we're, that's going to take some searching for that one. But anyway, such is life in the motorcycle business. Always something. Yeah, always something. But uh, anyway, I think on that, we're going to roll. Alrighty, well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you guys have a wonderful Wednesday or Thursday. Thank happy you. Valentine's Day to everybody. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow's old heart day. Mm hmm <laughs> All right, Mama. All right. Well, thanks for watching now. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.